Hey guys, it's VT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. First, I want to apologize for not being on here for a while. My computer actually broke and I had to get it fixed. And it took about three weeks for them to send it back to me, so I just got it back. So now I'm making videos again, and I have a bunch of different videos already kind of backlogged on my computer. I have claw machine videos, I have mystery figure unboxing videos, and then I've got recent pickup videos and other video game related stuff videos. So I got a bunch of videos that I need to upload. First, for my first new pickup, I actually got a new dog. Her name is Nala. Nala, Nala, come here. You want to come here? Come here so they can see you. Come here. She's sitting on the couch, like, right in front of me, but she won't come here. She's too busy looking at the cat. But, yeah, she's only about four months old, and we got her about four weeks ago, I think. So, so yeah, she's new, and Nala, yeah, she's named after Simba, Lion King. So, you know me, I'm obsessed with the Lion King. Alright, so let's just start with the pickups. First, it's kind of just a wide range of pickups, but we're going to go with all video game related stuff, and then we'll go to the, just the odds and ends. So first I got, I'm not sure if he's how you say his name, but it's like Meowth or something from Pokemon, and he was actually supposed to be $2, as you can see on his tag, he was supposed to be $2 at Goodwill, but the lady rang him up as 50 cents, so I was really happy to get him for just 50 cents. He's really big. You can kind of tell by looking on the camera. And he's got this little thing where you can hang him up if you wanted to. We are moving from here, so all of my stuff right now is kind of just, if I get it, it kind of just like sits off to the side until we move because there's no point in putting it up anywhere if I'm just going to be taking it back down again. So, But I think when I move, I might actually put him, I'm going to have a game room, and I think I'm going to put him in my game room. And yes, when I do get that game room set up, I will be doing a tour of that. Because it will be an official game room. Not with other stuff mixed in. Just game room. So, I can't wait for that. Next, I'll get to the video games. First, I've got this Zelda wristband that actually came from Loot Crate. It looks like this. I did not get this Loot Crate. And this was only 99 cent at Goodwill. So I decided to pick it up because I like Zelda. I actually used to like love wristbands when I was a kid. If my dog shakes my computer, I'm sorry about that. Nala, you need to get out of my... She just knocked all of my games over. Come here, you little pain in the butt. Come here, so I can see you. You want to see the culprit? This is the culprit. Say hi, look. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so, this is a little culprit. My name's Nala. Hopefully she quits bugging me. Here, play with your toy. Alright, now to the games. First, I got this one from Goodwill. This was like $2, and that is Dave Mira BMX Challenge for PSP. I like this game on the PS1, so I thought I'd get it for PSP, and it's complete. Manual is backwards, but I had to fix it. So I got that. I don't remember if I showed this one or not, so if I did, I'm sorry, but I'm going to show it again in case I didn't. I got Little Big Planet Karting, which I've been wanting for a while, and it was $9 at GameStop. They used to have like a bunch of these, and then I went in there and I only had like two left, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's complete. Happy to get that. Then I got Sea Monsters, uh, National Geographic, a prehistoric adventure for PS2 from Goodwill. This one was $4, but I picked it up because I actually got this like way back like when it was Shark Week and it just interested me because of that. And I used to have a sea game. If anybody remembers like it was like an ocean game. It was kind of like this but it was on the PS1. I swear it could have started with Aqua maybe. I don't remember exactly. But there was one for the PS1 and I cannot remember what it was for the life of me but I would like to find that game and get it back in my collection because I don't have it anymore. But for now I got this one from Goodwill and it's complete. These two Actually, this one, yeah. These next ones came from a new pawn store that I actually found. Anyway, there's a new pawn store that opened actually a while back, but I never went in it because most most of the pawn stores around me have like really high prices when it comes to video games, so there's no point in going in there and looking at them. But this one I decided to stop at because my friend was in the store next spot, next to it, and I went in there and he had really good deals. So I'm going to be going back there and they were really nice. And they had a deal going on where if you got $25 worth of stuff, they give you $5 off. So I got all of these for $20. The first one is actually, the first two are two that I've been looking for. All of them are in really good condition. And that is for Xbox. 
Outlaw Golf nine more holes of Xmas, and this was three dollars as a Blockbuster exclusive. And I'm betting that these are kind of, I mean, they're not hard to find. This case is like broken; it will not shut. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm betting that these are hard to find with this little Blockbuster slip in here. So I don't know if this one's a Blockbuster slip, but the other one is. This one's just like a manual, but the one that you're about to see has a Blockbuster slip, which is kind of funny because I used to work at Blockbuster. This one is just the original Outlaw Golf Nine Holes of Xmas Blockbuster exclusive. They both were there. They both were three dollars, and this is the one that has the rent one game, get one game free from Blockbuster, which I just thought was funny. It expired way back in 2003. Then I got this one, which is actually brand new in the shrink wrap, and he originally had it at nine, but he had it marked down to seven, and then this one was the one that was like five dollars off for buying $25 worth of stuff, so I got this one for $3. No, $2. So, this one was actually $2 for a shrink wrapped game. Cannot do math, I'm way too tired. And I don't know how exactly you pronounce it, but I'm going to say it's El Shada. Ascension, Ascension of the Metatron. So yeah, it looked interesting on the back. I don't know if I'm going to open this one or just put it in my collection. I need to look up gameplay and see what it's like before I make my mind up on that. Then I got Siphon Filter the Omega Strain for $3 for PS2. I don't know why, I've been finding a lot of Siphon Filter games recently. And this one's also complete in really good condition. And then, sorry if I'm reaching over you, but everything is behind me. Right now, that's like the only space that I have to put stuff. I also got these two. Lilo and Stitch which was $3. For some reason, I collect Disney games for PS1, so I didn't have this one, so I picked it up. And I love Stitch. It's complete and really, really good condition. And I think that's cute. And then, like, the picture underneath here. Oh, just, this one's not. It's just he's surfing. I thought it was funny, but it's not. There's another game that I picked up where I swear, like, the, the back thing has, like, a funny picture on it, but I don't remember which one it was. And then I also found a long box PS1 game. This one was $3 as well. That's Air Combat for PS1. The, the case is cracked, but pretty much every one that I have like this is cracked and broken. But the game's in there like that. This is the only one that wasn't in like really good condition, but this disc in itself is pretty much brand new. Like I honestly don't see one scratch on it. It looks like it's brand new, but the casing isn't. <laughs> So I'm guessing somebody probably had this at one point in their collection and traded the case out for like a better game. But yeah, so I got that. And now, I think that's everything from that store. No, wait, there's one more thing, but it's not gaming related. I'm gonna throw it in there anyway. I don't remember how many packs are in here, but this is a grab bag of baseball cards that were $2. And they're all 1991 Don Russ baseball puzzle and cards. If anybody collects baseball cards, I used to, but I don't anymore. Let me know if you want to trade for these or if you want to buy these, let me know. Uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think there's 20 in here. So yeah, I got those. And now off to other places. These two came from GameStop, one of which I'm, I already actually have up on eBay because I don't like it, but if you're interested in it trade-wise, let me know and we can do a trade. Now, I'll do not shake the computer. First, I got Cartoon Network Punch Time. I know it's like a whip-off of Super Smash Brothers, but I had to get it to try it out. It's $3.59. It didn't have, like, the casing, but honestly, with 3DS games, DS games, like, portable games, I really don't care too much, but there's the game right there. So, I was happy to get that. Now, this is the one I don't like. It's a puzzle. Crush 3D with another dimension. So, Crush 3D, a puzzle with another dimension. This was like one of the first games I think that came out for Nintendo 3DS. I'm not sure if it's right or not, but I thought I would try it. I'm not a puzzle game person, but it was only 269, so I thought I would try it. I hate this game, like absolutely hate it. But it is complete. If anybody's interested trade-wise, let me know. And they opened up a five below in my area, which we haven't had before, so I was really, really happy to have them open. I did not know that they sold video games there. And I was going to get another one along with this one, but my little sister was with me, and she wanted something, and I didn't have the money to get both, so I got her something instead. But I did get this one, and that is 
regular show, Mordecai and Rigby in 8-Bit Land. I've actually never watched this show. I really need to watch it. But it looks like it's a good game on the back, so I picked that one up. Might get another one when I go back there a second time. Uh, also, while we're on the five below kick, I think everything else... Everything else is not gaming related, so if you guys want to cut off, that's great. Actually, one of these things are, which I'll show you now, and then the rest isn't. Uh, the first, the last gaming related thing is, I actually collect lanyards now, and I found this at Five Below. It was $3, I think it was. And it just says, weapon of choice, and it has like a controller. So yeah, I just thought that was awesome, so I had to pick that up. There's a little ending of it. Then, also I found this Galaxy one. Which, I love Galaxy stuff, so I had to pick this one up as well. I don't know why, I just randomly... You want to know what I think got me started collecting lanyards? Loot Crate and uh, one up Box and all those that like normally send you lanyards? I swear to God, that's probably how I started collecting them. Sorry for the bad angle. My dog is trying to take over my pillow, which I have my computer on. So, at Dollar Tree, because I collect figurines too, I got these two figurines. One is just Olaf from Frozen. And then the other is Bart Simps Bartman, Bart Simpson, which I just thought was cute, so I had to pick him up too. And then I got this mystery figure one, which I'm not going to show you the front because it's sticky, and I don't know what's on it, but I don't want to know what's on it, so we'll see the back side. But this is Angry Birds Star Wars, and it's based on the app. This is Series 1, and there's supposed to be two figures in here, and you can get any one of those on the back. So let's open this and see which two are in here. My dog doesn't try to eat the plastic. Alright, so they're actually like little... I was expecting like little plushes, but they're not. Here's a little book. So apparently you can like stack them. And here are the ones that I'm guessing you can get. I think it depends on like the series you have, so... That's that. And then... I got... Nala! It's just plastic! No, don't eat that. Just throw it to her like an idiot. Alright, I got this little pig dude. They're kind of like rubbery. They look like they could go on top of something because they got like little holes on the bottom, but I have no idea. <laughs> no! They're not for you! <laughs> she thinks everything is food or a toy that's hers. It's, it's what I like to call puppy syndrome. Then I got this yellow angry bird. So yeah, he also has a hole in the bottom, so I don't know what that's for, but yeah. So, it's kind of funny because on the back here, I don't think either one of those two were on the back. Nope. So, hold on, let me check this really quick and see if they have... Oh, well, he's a 1 and 9, so that's, that's common, and the yellow one. And then the pig is a 1 and 18, so it's a little bit more rare, but... He's actually one of the rarest ones you can get on here. I wished I would have gotten R2-D2 because I love R2-D2, but that's alright. I got the rare one, so that's cool. Not the rarest one, but these are actually the ones that have, like, bombs-looking things over top of it. Basically are the rare ones, except for the pig. He doesn't have one, but he's a 1 in 18, so happy to get him. So that's trash. These will go with my figurine collection. My dog doesn't eat them first. And then, last but not least, not that anybody really cares, actually there's two things, but I'm going to show you anyway because I feel like it. First, I got this at Goodwill and it just looks like it's a case or something, but you open it up. Oh, I think I have it backwards. It's wet because I've actually just wiped it off and cleaned it. But it's got like a keyboard inside for like a tablet. And then, like, up here you can put, like, a 10-inch tablet. Uh, problem is, I don't have a 10-inch tablet. So, yeah, that's the keyboard. This actually does work. I try to power it on and stuff, and the light came on, as you can see there. And it just takes, like, a normal USB charging port thing. So, yeah. I was going to keep this, just because in case I got a 10-inch tablet at some point, I thought it would be nice to have this. You're causing problems. But I changed my mind, and I think I'm going to put this up for sale. But the only problem 
I know most people that are watching this video are probably guys, so you're not going to be interested in purple. But if you're a girl and you're watching this, or if you're a guy and you want this for yourself or for somebody you know, let me know. The only problem with it is it does have, like, chipping of the paint in the back. Like, that looks like there's something on it, but it's not. It's just where the paint chipped off. So you can, like, cover that with stickers or whatever. But the keyboard, I don't think the keypad in itself comes out. Like, I think it's in there, like, for good. Like, yeah. So, it's definitely stuck in there. You might be able to take it off, but I think it's, like, glued down. So, I got that. That was $3. And then I got these two Lion King things, because everybody knows I'm obsessed with Lion King. That's why I named my dog Nala. But I got these Lion King pants at Walmart. They're just pajama pants. And they've got, like, all the characters on them, or most of the characters anyway. They've got Nala up here, uh, Pumbaa right there, and then Zazu, and Simba, and Timon is somewhere on here. There he is on the back. There's Timon. So, yeah. I just thought they were cute. And, you know me, I see, if you know me, if I see something Lion King and it's decently priced, I'm going to pick it up. That was $10. This one was also $10. I haven't worn it yet, but it's also a nightgown. I just think the artwork on this is really pretty. It's also Lion King. It's just like a one-piece nightgown. And it's got Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa on it. I just think it's really pretty. It's pink in the front, and then it's just black in the back. So, yeah, I had, had to get that as well. So, here's Nala. This one, my main pickup. Our, she doesn't like to be hugged. She hates being hugged. She's not a cuddler, but she's a, she's a people person. Oh, come on. Get a grip. Get a grip. Get a grip. Uh, uh, she's trying to show off. You trying to show off? My computer just got fixed, and she about murdered it again. Bye.